Today I'm going to be demonstrating to you and showing you the newest addition to my toy washing machine collection. This is a Miele W1 toy washing machine replica model by Theo Klein. And you're watching Florence Ballad A3060 on film. So there's a lot of people that probably already have this in their collection. Uh, this is one of the famous Miele toy washing machines with the sound effects and you can use water in them and they're scaled to look very much like their life-size counterpart. Uh, this is the newest model from Miele by Theo Klein, the same company makes the Bosch and made all the previous models of Miele toys. Uh, this one's modeled to look like the W1 line that are currently out in the newer design of Miele. It's basically the same design as the standard Novatronic ones. In fact, you can actually see, if you look at the cabinet at the side, where they've built it on the old cabinet. You could fit one of those Miele cabinets to this. It's got a different door to resemble the W1s. Press here, open it, it's a bit bigger. A bit of a smoother drum. You've got your dial, which turns. Um, what else we got? We've got more buttons here. Um, only this one here and these four work. You just press it on here, it lights up, and then you press start. We've got water in to do the filling effect, your wash action, pump out stage, and your spin. And start and start to go through the whole cycle. You've even got a replica display here. This is Miele W1 Power Wash and Twin DOS. You have, you've got an indent here to open from, because opening it from here is actually harder. That's where you pour your water in. Um, this filter is just blank, but this one, look at this. Press it down, and you've got the liquid insert replicas. Ultra Phase 2. Ultra Phase 1. So that's what scales it like W1s. Let's take a look at the back here. The Theo Klein. I hope we've got a number on it. Some of these numbers, 2007 that says. But it would have been built on the old Miele style. And you've got a different pipe. Rather than that sort of corrugated one that tends to snap, you've got a nice flexible rubber one. Although I don't know if this was the same for all of them. If this, Maybe these people have put, the sellers have had this. I've put the um, newer hose, like I did with my AEG one, i put the hose of a hot point drawer. So I'm going to do a little wash load and demonstration of this. And we'll see how it works. Just going to pop the load in, just got some small glasses, like handkerchiefs here. Put those in. Now unlike the uh, Miele Novatronic ones and whatnot. The this doesn't have a tank for the water going. So what we've got to do for this is simply pour the water into the drawer. But I'm going to put a little bit of powder in there too. Just a tiny bit. Pour some water in, which will go directly into the drum. It will. Watch. There you go. I'll put about that much in and see what happens. This also had the uh, drive belt modified on it, so it uh, went around the two pulleys, but I managed to undo that. Okay, to start, we switch on. I'm going to press the full program. So we don't do any water filling. It works the same way as the soft tonic ones do. I'll put the spin straight away. There we are. Well, watch this. It goes the other way. That's what I like. I'll keep that on the wash. It's faster going that way. 
doesn't like going anti-clockwise. Even real life needles don't like going anti-clockwise. Good sound effects too. Um, fortunately because it fills up with water. That's it, so... It has a max fill line here as well. I like how that lights up. I think there's water in the whole drum though, isn't there? No. So I'll put a bit more in. And now, now we're at the maximum fill line. Oh, hang on, something's falling. What's that? So that's interesting. So we've got something there. Yeah, see the drum sort of pushes a bit. Yeah. Everything absorbed in there now. Oh, someone's at the door. It's under draining the machine now. I'm gonna drain it into here. So look, just come straight down. You see that? It's the first time I've actually used this as water, so your guys are seeing the first water test. Drain that out. This hose is a lot better, it's more durable. Oh, just like that. Spin the machine around. I'm just going to rearrange the load in there because that is going to be a bit unbalanced, so I want that to spin nice and smoothly. So you kind of everything's cobbled up. It happens in these because the stuff you tend to put in there. And have a little static to it. So to spin, I'm going to put that through the drain. And then spin. So not too fast. It doesn't spin as fast as the other ones do, unfortunately, but uh, yeah, you get another spin. Again, so I'll just pour the rest in. Ready? Let's start. But minimum iron 60 level. I like the idea of reverse tumble. Maybe Amy could let me wash some of the doll's clothes in this. So I'll stop at that. Get it to do the... I'll do a full cycle run without water, just if it spins. Watch. So it's got more clearer sound effects than the original ones did. You might be able to hear it, it's making that sort of now focus on that and then spin. A bit faster though. Keep it spinning. Pin it. It's a shock absorber sound. And 
your washing is done. Okay, that's a little demonstration of that then. So uh, yeah, that's my little Miele W1 uh, toy washing machine. I'm definitely going to try and find some more toy washing machines. I'm trying to focus on stuff that I had as a child, but I wanted to have this, and it sits proudly up on the shelf next to my AG one up there. I'm going to get some new ones. Fortunately, the Miele one that I had, it unfortunately stopped working because the wires started coming loose on it. However, I'm going to get another one. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did, guys, um, and I hope it was fun to see that work. Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow.